Shalom, everybody. I am Mariah Aliza with Mariah Shelley Village. I am shooting this video today to share with you our 2016-2017 school year review. We just finished our fifth year of homeschool, and it's very exciting out here. Our oldest son is graduating from fifth grade and moving on to what is popularly known as middle school. And um, my youngest son, or our youngest son, is being promoted from second grade to third grade. So, some things that I want to cover in this video. First, I want to talk about how our year went in general, the highs and lows of our year. Um, any tweaks or changes that I'm going to make uh, considering this year. Um, all the things that happened this year now that it's over. And then also our last day of school. So, how did our school year go? Highs and lows. So for the most part, it was a very successful school year. Um, we met our goals. Um, children were generally happy. They were very excited about what they learned. All that nice stuff, right? Um, we, we stress character a lot here. Um, I was able to see one of the beauties of homeschooling. I was able to see how our children had matured and how their character grew. So that was great. And then last, our assessment scores were just what we expected and, and what we want to see for our children in terms of where they were for this year and considering where they're going next year. So all in all, we had a successful homeschool year. Um, some, I'll start with the lows. Um, we had just one major low this school year. Uh, we lost uh, a homeschool friend, uh, not by death, just through relationship. Um, and, so she has children and you know we do everything homeschool together and so that was quite a blow uh, for our family and for our children uh, to just lose them in that way. So we continue to uh, pray for them and, and wish them well but that was definitely something that we needed to recoup from uh, from that loss once that happened. Our highs though, we had way more highs than we did that one low so we are going to focus on the positive. Um, one of the things that I really, really stressed this um, school year, the 2016-2017 school year, was working on attitude in terms of our school, particularly a subject that uh, my oldest son does not enjoy that much. And so I became more attitude focused than I did content focused, even though we did cover content. Um, with him and it made all the difference in the world. I actually walked him through exercises, practices, drills, etc. about what to do when you feel overwhelmed or frustrated or when you're just looking at something like, I don't have it today, I don't even want to do it. So he worked on those ill feelings and how we persevere and endure through those and it was actually really, really great for him. He strived a whole lot better um, and it was just a perspective and an attitude change. So I was very grateful to be able to walk him through that. Um, another high, oh, we joined a local African-American homeschool group, and it has been life. Uh, it's just such a beautiful thing when we get together to just interact with other African-American families, um, mostly moms during homeschool time events, but also families, which includes dads and other extended um, family members when we do things as, you know, a family later in the evening or on the weekend. And just to see the children learn and grow and play together. Um, just all black kids, all different shades, whatever it is that we believe or whatever gifts or, or flaws that we come with. It's been a great year um, just navigating through that. And, and we have been extremely grateful and extremely blessed with that exposure. So that was something very, very uh, positive that we did for 2016, 2017. And we will actually be rejoining that group for the following school year. Um, two other highs that we had. One, we met a new friend, a family that believes like we believe. Um, we practice pretty much uh, the same uh, way in terms of homeschool, in terms of daily life, in terms of our relationship and family life as well. And so it was a joy to meet that family and just connect and, and communicate over the school year. It's been a blessing for us. And then last but not least, we also reunited with the friend as well as um, her family as well, and that was a blessing for us as well. So 2016, 2017 has been quite awesome for us. Um, so some tweaks and some changes. I'm going to talk about that now. Um, so one of the things that I have um, my sons to do is to kind of write out for me uh, what 
they liked, what they didn't like, what they learned, etc. for a particular school year. And they, one of the things that we did add, we added vocabulary. Um, check that out if you don't know what that is. They were all over that. So I'm definitely going to take that uh, with us into the next school year. Um, so some tweaks that have come from them writing out those notes. Um, science. We have decided to change our science. Um, one, because I do have a, a son who's going um, to sixth grade, and so I just feel like we have to beef up that particular subject because of that. So that was coming anyways. Um, but we're going to take a different focus with that. Have a, we have a curriculum change. We have an approach change um, to how I'm going to teach that subject and what we're going to use to teach it. I'll be sharing that when I do my curriculum haul and curriculum reveal videos later on um, throughout the summer until we actually get up to August when, when we are actually going to start school. Um, another change for us, which is a major change, um, all through elementary uh, for my oldest son, I have been writing the majority of our history curriculum. So a little plug for our history revealed, if you're looking for um, American history curriculum with the African American influence and presence, um, you're going to want to check out my website, www.marashalee.com. You're going to click on the, on the um, tab, excuse me, that is named Our History Revealed and check that out. But as far as next year, we are leaving American history and we are going into the uh, Mexico, the Caribbean, and South America. We're going to study the um, diasporans there from the transatlantic slave trade, so African diasporans who would now identify as Latinos or Latinas. We're going to be studying our people in those lands and regions. So I have not written anything like that. So I definitely had to pull together some resources. Um, and even I even did buy one uh, curriculum uh, in order to help us to do that. So that's a major change. And my, both of my sons were like, we're studying history and you didn't write it? Um, actually, I am writing the plans um, because I just have so many resources all over. But I'm not writing, you know, a major curriculum in order to, to share um, of that and things of that nature. What else are we doing? Oh! I'm going to tweak grammar a little bit. Um, my degree expertise, however you want to say that, um, has been acquired in the languages. So your reading, your writing, your grammar, your phonics, your spelling, all of that. Um, that is what I was trained for. So I just do that very well. But when it comes to grammar, it just... Mm, I'm not a big, oh, you have to just no, no, no this, you know, so much. Obviously the basics, yes, but the technical um, part of grammar, not so much. So one of the things that I picked up on with my youngest son is his ability to really understand and retain information when it's oral. So I am switching to a grammar that is more oral based. And then also my oldest son, while he can pretty much grab concepts in any, any way that you throw at them. But I have noticed that when I do um, give him a song or a skit, something like that, um, he's able to retain it more and so we know those things are oral as well. So I'm going to switch completely to an oral based grammar for them and I'll share that also in my curriculum haul videos. Um, what else? Oh, last but not least, our major change. I have a son, my oldest son, who is leaving elementary school. And so for us, we treat sixth grade as a transition year, and I'll do a video about that later. And so I don't call it middle school, um, but this particular year, sixth grade would be like preparatory school, where he'll be um, transitioning from elementary to junior high and just having that year to do that and to work out those kinks. And so obviously next year for him will look very different um, than the past years that I've been schooling him. All right, and then last but not least, I wanna talk about what we do for the last day of school. We do a lot of things. There's no way I can share all of them in this video, but I wanted to highlight a few things. So I know I mentioned the notes to mom already. That's one thing that we do the last day of school. So I have them here. Um, basically, I've already said it, but I'll just repeat. They 
kind of record for me what they liked about school, what they learned in this particular school year, and what they did not like. Um, so I mentioned vocabulary was definitely a hit, so we'll definitely be keeping that. Um, they tell me what they learned, which when they tell me what they learned, it actually helps me to hear. Um, I always think about how I taught that because they're remembering what they learned and they're saying I was excited about this. I'm like, how did I teach that? And what did I use to teach that so that I can make sure I continue to keep that? And they also tell me what they don't like, which will help me know what I'm going to add or take away or adjust for the next school year as well. Um, another thing that um, they get on the last day of school, they get their electronics back. Um, I retrieve electronics while we're schooling. It's very difficult to compete with technology and computers, so I don't try. Um, so they always look forward to that. Um, I do build their portfolios. Well, I've been building it all year long, but I actually compile it and put it together the last day of school, and they help me do that. And so they love to have um, their hands in, in doing that. And then our like two final marks. Um, so not the last day of school, but it's the two things they can look forward to as they know, all right, this year is over. One, they get a pool party. Um, I typically either take them to the pool or take them to some neighborhood that's doing some pool related event as to say, welcome to the summer. Um, this particular year, our homeschool group that I spoke so highly about earlier in this video is throwing the children um, a pool party. So they're gonna do that, seeing kids they've known all school year long, that'll be fun. And then last but not least, they get a promotion ceremony. So uh, no matter what, every single you know grade they get that and they just have a little ceremony where they're able to get up and say what they've learned and connect with friends or other homeschoolers they've seen throughout the school year. Of course, there's treats and pictures and things like that. Um, but for us, this one, this year is gonna be very special for us because our we are gonna be graduating our fifth grader and letting him move on. Uh, to sixth grade and so you know we have all of what comes with a graduation for him this year okay so I hope this video was helpful or informative or insightful in some way if you liked it please subscribe you can check me out at Facebook at Marasha Lee Village or you can visit my website www.marashaleevillage.com and I will see you later Shalom